Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to our second example in our practice series on solving for a competitive equilibrium. In this video, we're going to consider the case where we have a consumer which has some sort of curvature to his preferences and the other one which has perfect complements as his preferences. Let's go. So let's consider the case where we have two consumers and two goods. The preferences in this economy are defined as follows with consumer A going and having these log preferences and consumer B going and having these Leon Tief sort of preferences. The resource constraints, uh, which really define the size of this economy is that there's gonna be a total of three of good X and three of good Y. And the initial endowments or where are we really start off it with is that consumer A is going to have the entirety of good of good X and for consumer B, he's gonna have the entirety of good Y. Let's see how they trade. So to figure that out is that first we're going to write the budget constraint. Uh, and this is, you know, important as for because we're going to be talking about prices. Note that we can set PX equal to P and PY equal to one. This is a normalization process, which makes our budget constraints as follows, right? We're just dropping out the P's there. Step number two is that we're going to go and solve each of our consumers static optimization problem. So Let's consider consumer A. So for consumer A, he has differentiability of his preferences and we use the usual optimality conditions for them. Um, again, you know, you could use a Lagrangian for this, but really what we want to go and get is where our marginal rate of substitution is equal to the price of good X over the price of good Y. And that is as follows. And the intermediate demand that we go and get, which is crucial for going and solving this problem for A is equal to 0 0.3 all over 0 0.7 XA times P. So this is our Y hat A. And for consumer B, uh, we can't go and apply calculus to uh, his preferences. So we're gonna use the standard no waste condition imposed by the preferences, which is as follows down here. Step number three is that we're gonna use our budget constraint and initial endowments and intermediate demands to solve for our demand equation. So this is just intermediate micro um, and we're just going to be going and plugging in these results uh, one by one so for consumer a we uh, remember we just go and plug in our initial endowments and our intermediate demands and with a little bit of algebra i'm not going to go and speak it out we go and we find that xa is equal to 2.1 Right? And we see that it's quite invariant, so it doesn't really depend so much on prices. And subbing this intermediate demand, or this final demand, into our intermediate demand for y hat a, we go and we get 0 0.9 times p. So that's going to directly depend on the price there. For consumer b, following the same sort of procedure, we go and we just sub in xb, right, because of the no waste condition for yb. And we get this result for both of the answers, which is going to be three all over P plus one. That's, that's going to be the demand equations for both X and Y. Step number four is that we're going to use our resource constraint to define prices. So since we have our demand equations, right, our proper Marshallian demand equations for both X, I, and Y, I, we can use either the resource constraint to solve for them and um, we just go and we plug them in there and working with a little bit of algebra we find that the prices that support this equilibrium is going to be 2.33333 and if you, we just want to be proper because otherwise we're going to get some sort of uh, awkward final allocation i'm just putting in the fraction because that captures what it really is there uh, and step number five is that we're going to go and define our competitive equilibrium. Um, I don't really show how we do it here, but what I'm doing is that I'm taking this number and for the prices and I'm plugging it in to our demand equations. And the way we're going to go and write this competitive equilibrium is that we're going to go and say that it is equal to 2.1 and 2.1 for consumer A, right? Meaning he's going to consume both of those uh, in in perfect complements and for consumer B he's going to go and consume 0 0.9 and 0 0.9 and this equilibrium is supported by the price of two and one third so this is our video on solving for competitive equilibrium in the context of this 
model. I hope to go and upload maybe another one or two videos on this topic. Uh, I hope this video helps. Take care.